So this is what we're making, a fairly quick adjustable bangle. I'm starting with three millimeter round wire, 175 mil long, and I'm going to make two for the price of one. So I'm just going to take my miniature bolt cutters and cut another piece. Make this one slightly bigger. Now I'm going to roll this through the rolling mill until it is just under two millimeters thick and that will make it three and a half millimeters wide. You could you could leave this round but you'd need to cut it roughly 210 long. So by me cutting this 175 and rolling it down a millimeter it's going to increase in length and it will increase to about 210 which is an average size bangle. So I'm just going to roll this through the rolling mill until it's just under two millimeters thick. And that'll change the profile, but it'll give me the length that I need. So I'm going to smooth and round the end since it's rough from where we chopped it off. And number two cut flat hand file. So about like that. You don't need to finish it at this point. We'll do that later. So do both ends. Now we're going to forge the ends using the rounded part of our planishing hammer. And I cut a little groove in my block so that my bench block doesn't jump out. So that is all we need, and do both ends. We're going to dome this now so that we have a pearl cup. Uh, so we need to anneal these ends because they're work hardened. When I started, uh, the metal was annealed. I ordered it half hard, and that was enough for me to be able to decrease this by a millimeter and to forge these ends. So now I need to anneal it again. So we're just going to bring this up until it's a dull red. So our neutral flame number seven tip. And just do these one at a time. I need to close the door. I'll just start at one end and I've angled my flame down so we just work our way down. Bring this up to a dull red. And then do the next one. So the pearls I'm using are six mil. My dapping punch is six mil. And I'm just going to hammer this into soft wood. Use my chasing hammer. And the side that was down against my bench block is the side that I'll have down against here. So I'll just zoom so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to hold this in the center. And that was just the first hit. And you can see that it's already starting to cup it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it about three times.
four times. Now I've got a nice little cup on the end and so far no soldering. So do both ends and both ends this needs to be up on the same side. So now I'm going to form this around my bangle mandrel and I'm right up here at the top I'm just going to push this around and then take my rawhide hammer and hammer it around as I go. Now I don't have the pearl peg in here yet so I can gently hammer the ends to get them where they need to be. Gently is the appropriate word. Now you can adjust these as you go. So I wouldn't make that one any smaller than this. You could make it smaller. Uh, but we want these to overlap a little. So at that point I'll just tap it, make sure it's nice and round take it off and we're ready to solder our pearl pegs in and by doing it this way we won't deform the pearl peg it'll just be ready to go after we solder it in so just like that And before I solder the pearl peg in, I'm going to take my one millimeter drill bit and I'm just going to put a small depression in the end. So you don't need to go all the way through, just a little spot for us to solder on. So we're using 0.8 square wire. File the end flat so you have a really good solder join. We don't want the pearl falling off at a later date. And I'm holding this so that the bracelet is touching down here. So it's just a little more stable that way. And set it up so that there's no tension on it. But there's just a gentle pressure. Mix up your flux. Make sure it's nice and creamy. If there's liquid on top, that's just water. It has to be slightly white for it to work. So just a fairly small amount. And hard solder. And we should only need a small piece. And your neutral flame. And I'm going to pick up one piece of the solder with my solder pick, the tungsten solder pick. I'm just going to warm it up from the top, place my solder. And once it's in position, I'm going to come from underneath. And heat it, the flux will go clear, the solder will melt. And by doing it that way, I don't take a chance of melting my pin, and I don't get the pin hotter than this. If it's whatever metal is the hottest is where the solder will go. So now we're going to clip that, quench it so we can handle it, and do the same thing over here. I just moved in so you could see. So I'm picking up the solder, warming this up from the top. I've placed the solder now 
I switch my plane to the bottom and there the solder flows. Done. So after you quench this, check all of your solder joins, pickle it, twist your square wire. It doesn't have to be a really tight twist as long as it's twisted. Half a turn is enough. You can go a full turn if you want. Cut these to length and roughly two millimeters long. Hallmark it now. And you're ready to polish it. Polish it, check the ends that are, make sure they're nice and smooth. If they're not, sand them. And I use 400 grade paper on a sanding stick. And because you haven't really done anything to mar the metal, you should be able to just polish it. <coughs> Once it's polished, we'll set the pearls. Check that your pearl pegs are straight. You can just grab them with your chain nose pliers, the little pointed nose pliers, to straighten them up. We want to make sure that the pearl sits nice and flat. And we're ready to polish. So we're out of the polisher, ready to glue our pearls on. So what you do is, for each space, for each pearl, check that the length is right, check that it fits your pearl. You may have to drill it, re-drill it a little, and you can just hold it in your fingers and zip the drill in and out. Um, and then once everything, once you're sure everything fits correctly, then glue the pearl and sit it on. And I was having a look at these and I was thinking that if you made multiples of these it would be quite attractive and you could solder them together down here and leave it free at this end but also because this is basically a flat wire, you could embellish it. You could put a pattern on it if you want. You could put hammer marks. You could put cross hatch marks. Um, this is another one of those things that is just a good basic canvas that you can turn into something else. So set your pearls. We're just using 5-minute epoxy for setting our pearls. An equal amount of the two parts. Mix it thoroughly. And then I just hold the pearl in my fingers, stick the tip down inside, and then a little spot on the outside so that that's full. And then I just put a little bit on the peg. Probably wouldn't have to. And I just slip the pearl on. Make sure it goes all the way down, like that. Put the next one on. And I usually just hang this on my third hand. Like that. So that the pearl doesn't come off. So I'll put my next one on while it's there. So I have the two of them just sitting with the glue fairly fresh. So it's five minute epoxy, but 
I would give it an hour just to make sure it's really well set. So you're finished. Okay, we're finished. This is two adjustable bangles with two pearls. Ciao.